Hello, awesome readers. Today we're going to be reading Veterans, Heroes in Our Neighborhood by Valerie Funstein. I am taking all book requests. If you have a favorite book that you would like me to read, please send me your request. My email will be posted in the description below. Today we learned about our heroes, a really special kind, the ones who serve America and leave their homes behind. We read about the veterans who give all they can give to keep our country safe and free so we can love and live. Our teacher asked us each to name a veteran we knew. She said, Now you may be surprised. It won't be hard to do. So after school, I asked my dad. He had amazing news. These heroes live right in our town. So many. Who can choose? There are family, neighbors, friends who never boast or brag. We all should be reminded of their love for home and flag. The man in town who cuts our hair is known as Frank the Barber, but not too many know he was a sailor at Pearl Harbor. The butcher at the grocery store who cuts the meat for stew was once a paratrooper. Wow! Matt served in World War II. And Walter is a Navy man who came to fix our heat. He once fixed boilers on the ships that sailed with the U.S. fleet. Our neighbor Jacqueline is a nurse who wears a uniform. She cared for wounded soldiers when she served in Desert Storm. Ernie is a firefighter. We knew that he was brave. And yet we never knew about the Air Force time he gave. And Edna, our librarian, had a son named John. He died while training for Iraq. Now she's a gold star mom. Our mailman is a volunteer who trains each year to serve. When duty calls, Bob goes abroad. He's in the Army Reserve. And Manny is a proud Marine who did a corporal's part. He was wounded overseas and wears a purple heart. We celebrate our Veterans Day the 11th of November. We show our patriotic pride and promise to remember. Our heroes' headstones wear the flag from coast to coast in May. It's how we honor those we've lost and mark Memorial Day. We painted posters of our heroes and marched in a parade to thank these men and women for their sacrifices made. But we don't need a calendar to celebrate the brave. We pledge allegiance to the flag and let those colors wave. It doesn't matter where they served, what service branch or rank. What matters is remembering them and offering our thanks. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can read together again.